Anthony Foreman. Check that saloon in the slum for him. He might have a bounty on his head, but you'd hardly know it. Carries on about his business in the less salubrious parts of town, knowing the law won't dare to come looking. <laughs> Is it that you can't go into the slums to get Foreman, or you won't? That's a mighty forward line of inquiry. The slum dwellers can't be helped, sir. So we're not gonna try. Hello. As a matter of fact, I heard about this fella years ago. What more can you tell me of him, then? He's a panderer, a thief, a cheat, a braggart, somewhat of a hero to a few mistaken fools. Simply put, the man is just bad for society. Society? Well, it's what you make it. I guess all that remains is to bring him in. Not to put too fine a point on it, but don't kill him. Pues vamos a a por el señor Foreman otra vez. No me acuerdo si este es al que dejamos vivir. En el caso de que así sea, si le dejamos vivir, lo capturamos ahora y ya toma por culo. ¿No? Thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare for a blind man? Won't anyone help a poor blind man? I'm blind. Anything you can spare. De oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare? Vale, ese sí que está ciego, ciego. Ay, 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 ay. Hey, you, what you looking for? Hey, could you help me find an Anthony Foreman? Anthony Foreman? Oh, this yeah. goddamn bounty. I don't recollect like that name. Hey, where you going? Shit. <laughs> Your pal just tripped me, but I'm still coming. I don't matter. No te preocupes, tío. Imagino. No te, no, no te rayes, no te rayes. Hey, I think you knew a friend of mine, Tilly Jackson. Tilly Jackson. 
I ain't heard that name in a time. Hey, you're not the. No, he was bigger. Look, if you're with that other friend of hers, I promise to stay away, and I did. Don't bring me in for the Tilly Jackson. Este era. Things is long settled between us, but I ain't bringing you in for Tilly Jackson. I'm bringing you in because they're paying me. If my cousin was still here, you wouldn't have got me. Venga, I still. I had to hide out in no slum, avoid no bounty. He got killed and we lost them other boys at Riley's house. That's when things went south. Foreman's ain't been quite so much since then. Begin. Here's the station. I'm guessing you ain't on this side of town much. I wouldn't piss on these people if they were burning. Anthony Foreman. He ain't society's problem no more. He's yours. Well, good to meet you finally, sir. I hope you find our accommodation suitable. Cells back there. Sit down. Get comfortable. I ain't going anywhere. Well, you gonna want a hot bath after taking that trip through the slums. Actually, I like the slum. I'm worth every penny. Ah, vale. O sea, lo lo que me hablaste esa, eh, esta mañana al final lo harás, ¿no? Supongo que es también lo de la Cosa que tienes luego por la noche. Aracnofobia, entonces. O algo parecido. No sé si será exactamente eso. Ya te dije yo que te iba a interesar. Vale. Ansel. Ah, no, no es eso. Ah, bueno, a, aún así, a la xenofobia. Bueno, te he dicho... Espera, espera, que no sé si me has escuchado bien. He dicho o eso o algo parecido. Por si acaso, ¿eh? <ríe> me refiero con, con, el con el tema del que estuvimos hablando. Es a lo que me refería. Y lo de interesar, ¿ves? A eso me refería yo. Y lo de interesar me refiero no a lo de que te interesaría eso concretamente, sino a lo que te dije yo el, el otro día. Es algo que te interesa en general. <risa> Un juego que empieza por C.
Tío, hay veces que el sol de este juego te deja cieguísimo. Como sea el juego que, que yo creo, como te pongas a la cronofobia estás jodida. Por eso te pregunto el juego. <risa> Más que nada. Porque he jugado a muchos y por ponerte un... Si me preguntas un miedo, por pues ponerte un miedo... Que esté nivelado, ¿sabes? Pues con la aracnofobia, como lo sabía, sí. Eh, ese, ese juego era. Pues la aracnofobia vas a estar muy jodida. Te, te lo digo desde ya. O sea, póntelo si quieres, pero vas a estar muy jodida. Jo, pues me alegro mucho. Sinceramente. El juego está muy bien, eh. Y el cambio de aire seguramente te venga muy bien también. Imagino que estará el día y tampoco, tam tampoco podrás hablar mucho, o sea, no te, no te rayes. ¿eh? Vas a lo guay y a las 11, creo que me has dicho, ya hablamos. Que sé que está el día ahí ya, ahora mismo. He comido un caramelo y se me ha quedado pegado atrás de la boca. En la parte de atrás del todo Y estoy como Está bueno Me molesta Y me da miedo pasar la lengua por ahí Porque estoy viendo que me voy a descolocar la mandíbula Sin querer o algo Seguido. 
Mustang's a good horse. You ain't spooked, are you? Bye. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. <laughs> Podemos ser buena gente. Ok, no te preocupes. Ya, ya te he dicho que sé que estás liadilla. O sea, a las 11, sabiendo que sobre las 11, 11 y media vas a estar libre, hablamos ahí y ya está. Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> West. West? Oh, 
Oh, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I sing. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you Yo. thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> By that rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Avisa. A ver. Lo, lo último lo sé. Me contaste la historia. Y no pasaría nada tampoco. Bueno, lo he leído entero, pero vale, lo que tengas que cambiar me avisas.
Pero lo que he leído me ha gustado O sea, estaba bien Working hard. It's the lumbago. I am I overdo it. I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town, and, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles, uh, Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slump. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons <laughs> and you take the slumps? You're a good filly. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Crear. I would head along that way. Saint Saturnin. Enjoy the fight. <laughs> 